The cat says meow. But did you know that this seemingly onomatopoeic word actually has ancient etymological origins? Let's explore that together. I'm Luke, and this is Polymeowthy. Meow. Now, meow is clearly distinguished from meow, which means feed me or pet me. While meow is a completely different word, which means get out of my face, you stupid dog. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate exclusively on meow. And like all great words, it has its origins in classical Latin. I mean, classical Latin, where the verb to meow is maumare. This is, of course, the origin of Spanish maullar, Portuguese miar, Italian miagolare, French miaule, and Romanian. Don't forget Romanian, amiona. But like all the most important Latin words, many suspect that, in fact, the ancient Romans stole this word from ancient Greek. And because this is such a serious and important topic, I decided to reach out to the respected etymologist Kiria Miaugthalini Papa Miaupulu, who will now explain the origin of the Nyaurisma. Yasas, yasas, everyone. Um, hello, that is hello to the people of the Polymathy channel. Polymathy, beautiful Greek word, you know. It um come from uh, polis, um, which mean a lot, and then manthano from ancient Greek, uh, which is to learn beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, sorry. Um, thank you so much to uh, Luca Ranieri for contacting me. I am Miaugthalini Papazopoulou, and I teach ancient Greek etymology and linguistics at the University of Elurophilia in Macedonia. And uh, yes, about the etymology of the word meow, it uh, actually takes us back to ancient Greek, the root of every big word in languages, and its etymology is quite complex. Why? Because it is believed that the word come from the verb maome, which means to seek, interestingly. And the reason why maume means to seek is because when cats first arrived in ancient Greece, the Greek people noticed that they are very intelligent and strategic. Greek word, Greek word, uh, creatures who, you know, unlike dogs which uh, bark and need, need human to feed it, cats catch their own food. But how? By seeking, by analyzing their surroundings. And the Greek people appreciated that and created the verb maome, based on the sound that these miraculous creatures make. So I hope I was able to help. Now there are competing theories about the origin of the Latin word maumare. In fact, cats weren't even considered worthy pets in Rome until Cleopatra first visited the Eternal City in 46 BC. And that's when she introduced cats to Rome as a part of her plan of world domination. A more likely path is that Latin maumare actually comes from the word for cat in ancient Egyptian, which is, in fact, mao. Cats were adored and worshipped in ancient Egypt for their great skill at leaving unwanted mouse corpses on the thresholds of doorways. Now, ancient Egyptian language scholars have traced the origin of mao as far as prehistoric Afro-Asiatic, demonstrating a truly ancient etymology for this meowlifluous word. But a competing theory exists that the word mao has a yet much more distant origin. Indeed, it has been proposed that cats first arrived in ancient Egypt from the ninth planet of the star Thuban. And these ancient parasitical beings played upon the affections of the unwitting humans they encountered and taught them the first language, called Katan, which naturally is the origin of modern Meowish. Meow with the meow in the meow in the meow. Meow 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 Meow, 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 meow,